right, on today's video, we are back at the range. And today, we are out here to do the review on the Zulisi Otter. Now, this is their RMSC footprint dot. This is the third optic from Zulisi I've tested on the channel. So far, I've been super happy with the Oak Plus and the Owl. Now, this gun is clear. No mag, nothing in the chamber. Now, I'm super excited to test this out today because I was able to get this to mount up on my Rock Island TAC Ultra. I had this slide milled on this gun a few years ago, and I had it milled strictly for the Hollow Sun 507K, and I haven't been able to get many dots to fit on this slide. But this Otter, the base on it, is the exact same base that the Hollow Sun 507K has on it. So I was able to mount this right up on here. Now, if you have not watched the unboxing video, I'll link that in the description below. We did a full unboxing on this optic. We went over all the specs, everything in the box, the dimensions, the MOA of the dot, all that was covered in the unboxing video. All we're gonna do today, shoot groups, have some fun, shoot some USPSA targets, and we'll just talk about this dot throughout the video. Let's have some fun. All right, the ammo we're going to be using today is my Steel Valley Casting Reloads. So if you're a reloader, definitely check out my solo links. You'll be glad you did. All right, we're going to shoot a 10-shot group at the top left target. All right, wasn't a real good group. First group of the day and we kept them all in the black, I'll take it. Let's talk about the dot. So it is a very bright sunny day here in Ohio for a change. And the sun is coming up right in front of me here. So I'm kind of looking into the sun right behind the target. Now I got the dot turned up to eight. I don't have it turned all the way up, but it's plenty bright. It is starbursting on me a little bit. That's not the dot's fault, that's me. I have astigmatism. Brightness, especially having the sun come right up in front of me here. Can't complain at all. All right, let's shoot a group at the middle right target. All right. I think that group is not as good as the last one. It's going to be one of those days. All right, so let's talk about the window size on this dot. Now, it's not going to be one of the bigger windows you're going to see on a lot of the dots that I review on this channel. But it is an RMSC footprint dot. And for an RMSC dot, it's plenty big enough. Now, the glass on this is super clear. Got just a little bit of a blue tint. You notice it when you're on the brown cardboard targets. But once you're on that yellow and black, I don't notice it at all. Let's shoot another group at the middle left target. All right, I shot those a little bit low, but clustered them together pretty good. I'll take that one. All right, this gun's clear, nothing in the chamber, no magazine. I want to talk about this backup iron sight right here. We talked about this a little bit in the unboxing video. Now I've got this slide cut really deep so the dot sits down in there pretty far. And the nice thing about that is I can actually pick up that front sight perfect with the rear sight that's built into the otter. Now this is really nice because a lot of RMSC dots, you're going to be using them for carry. And if your dot fails, it's really nice to have that backup iron sight. Now, in the case, if you had this on another gun, you would probably need to have a suppressor height sight, especially if you had that sitting on top of a mounting plate. But the way I've got this slide cut, this backup sight works perfect with the front sight on the Rock Island TAC Ultra. All right, let's shoot another group at that bottom right target. All 
All right, that was a really good group. Other than that one that I have to the left there just a little bit, but uh, starting to warm up here. All right, we got one target left on the board. Let's shoot a group at that bottom left. All right, not too bad of a group. I love shooting this TAC Ultra. This has always been one of my favorite guns that I have. It's really hard to beat shooting a good double stack 1911 or 2011. All right, we got two USPSA targets set up. We're gonna fire two shots into the A zone of each target, and we're gonna see how well the Otter transitions from target to target. Here we go. Right, target on the left we had all alphas target on the right we had all alphas but we did have one charlie all right we got them all pasted up let's do it again all right target on the left we had all alphas target on the right we had seven alphas and two charlies right here by the perf All right, I got a USPSA target set up downrange. I want to see how well this otter does at 25 yards. All right, here we go. All right, looks like we might have had a paster fall off, I'm guessing right here, but we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 shots all in the A zone, which is really awesome, but I did throw a delta all the way over here, and that sucks. All right, my final thoughts on the Zalisi Otter. I really, really had a great time out here doing the review on this today. This is the third Zalisi Optic I've reviewed on the channel. We started out with the Oak Plus, which is like their competition style dot. It's got this massive window on it. And it was just a great dot, especially for the price. I reached out to Zalisi, told them I'd like to start doing some reviews and working with them. They sent out the Owl, which had the Dr. Viper Venom footprint. We put that on the PDP Pro, and that dot turned out to be another amazing dot. And I don't think we're going to see anything different out of this Otter. Now, we're definitely going to do a 500-round review on this, possibly a 1,000, because... I really like having this on my Rock Island TAC Ultra. This is one of my favorite guns to bring to the range and shoot, and it's just awesome how well it fits on here. And speaking of that, what I like, the slide's cut deep enough, like I said earlier in the video, if this dot were to fail, I can pick up this front sight with the backup rear sight that comes on the Otter. The dot's plenty bright. The window size is just about perfect, especially for an RMSC footprint dot. It's not the biggest window I've seen on an RMSC dot, but it's not the smallest. It's just about the perfect size. The other thing I really like are the buttons here for the brightness level adjustments. They're pretty stiff and they're not sticking too far out of the dot, which I really like, especially if you're gonna be using this for carry. Carrying inside the waistband, you're not gonna have to worry about bumping those brightness level adjustments or shutting the dot off which is nice especially for this style dot because a lot of people would end up using this for carry but yeah uh we're definitely going to do a long-term review on this just for the fact that i want to be able to bring the tac ultra back out to the channel and shoot it because i love this thing so that's all i got guys i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe 
and I'll see you on the next one.